I know there are a lot of people out there who are in love with the Airbus A380. And despite all of the shit that the plane gets from Boeing fans, the A380 does deserve the respect and the recognition that the plane deserves. But we're getting to a point within the aviation market where things are changing. We're moving towards more fuel efficient aircraft and the need for the double decker four engine planes is slowly dying out. It's even gotten to the point where there is no longer any use for the plane and it's being sent to the scrapyard. But at the time when the A380 was launched, the Airbus company envisioned that the plane would revolutionize the market. Demand for air travel was ever growing and the success of the Boeing 747 gave Airbus an idea to penetrate this market and take some of the market share that Boeing had. At the time when the idea was put pen to paper, the largest aircraft that Airbus offered was the A300. They were also developing the A330 and also the A340, but this wouldn't be enough to rival the giant of the 747. So the years rolled on and Airbus stood in the market and they projected that demand would grow to an extent that it would be difficult to carry a large volume of passengers due to the airport slot restrictions. After many years of studying and research and development, Airbus finally launched the A380 as the A3XX. They knew that the plane would do well within the Asian market and they used the clever tactic of naming the A380 with the number 8 because in some Asian countries, 8 is seen as a lucky number. Nevertheless, the company gained 50 orders at the time of its launch such as Singapore Airlines and Virgin Atlantic. In the eyes of Airbus, this was deemed as a success because before going into the launch, they weren't exactly sure on how the world would receive the plane but one thing is for sure that it did capture the attention of Boeing. But the whole program wasn't immune to problems. In fact, problems came in their waves at the time of production. Due to the complexity of the plane, the entry of the A380 was delayed due to securing over 300 miles of wiring. These delivery delays proved to be costly for Airbus and they were expected to cost up to $5 billion. There was a point where the launch customer Singapore Airlines was also considering cancelling their order for the plane because the delay of the A380 wreaked havoc with their projected operations. You can think of it as a similar story regarding the 787 Dreamliner and all Nippon Airways. Nevertheless, the plane was delivered in 2007 and it was flown from Singapore to Sydney. Now fast forward to these last couple of years and the total number of orders that the A380 has gained is 331 with 232 planes delivered. It goes without saying that Emirates is the largest operator of the plane and we can see them utilizing the aircraft for many years to come. That's until where the Boeing decides to release the 777-10X. Orders have stagnated over the last couple of years and Emirates is the only airline keeping the A380 program alive and Airbus are expecting to reduce the number of aircraft built each month. It's also coupled with the fact that the A380 aftermarket is relatively poor. Depreciation is fairly astonishing when you consider that a new A380 carried a $300 million price tag back in 2007 when the planes were built while the new A380 today has a list price of $445 million. According to Reuters, it costs $40 million to refurbish a used A380's interior and this is a major turnoff for many in the market for the second-hand Super Jumbo. Airlines are now seeing the plane as an opportunity to take parts such as engines, landing gear, flaps and many more important instruments. It's also saddening to see that the plane is being sent to the scrapyard but unfortunately, that's just how it goes sometimes. There's no doubt about it that more planes will probably follow the same path as Air France is looking to reduce their A380 fleet. The secondary market for the A380s has not been very strong as High Fly is the only carrier to take on one of Singapore's ex-A380s for their charter and also leasing operations. So, the A380 is an iconic aircraft that will be around for some time as Emirates continues to take delivery of them. However, without a strong market for the A380, the sun seems to be setting on the age of this marvel of engineering. So there you go captains, a sad but true depiction of the reality of the A380. If you have any stories to add regarding the plane, then by all means do share them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching guys, like and subscribe as always, and I hope to see you in the next one.